All right, this video is about the Stellar Reed Vibes. And um, if you bought one of these kits, these uh, GGR Hot Reed kits here, and you're unhappy with it, um, which I, every bike I seem to put these in, I was kind of unhappy with. I didn't like the top speed results and the acceleration results too much. Hill climbing was fine, but that might have even improved, but it was, that's all it really did for me. I don't know, maybe different for you guys, but that's what I found. Um, I recommend replacing it with a a uh, Polini by one of these blocks here. They come with two, and uh, you can get about six out of the whole thing. Um, maybe more. Um, and uh, if you're really good at cutting. Um, and uh, the size is 0-35. There's a there's a three, and there's a four, and there's a three five. I found the three five. Is I took a wild shot at it and, I, and it worked well. I thought maybe a middle medium grade would be better. The one that came with it, with the kit, was fir was firm and firm. You're supposed to get more top speed, so I thought it would give you more top speed, but that's not what you really got out of it. I don't know, it just didn't seem to work right. It seems like a complete different animal than this for some reason. So it's a little, a little more pliable. It just feels quite a bit different. Um, it's not it's not hard to make. You just get a, get a Dremel cutter like these or the smaller set, which uses a, a thinner, you, you people who know Dremel know all about it. I have a Dremel. Or it doesn't even have to be the brand. Similar parts. Um, you just... Just trace it. To mark it, I would use something really sharp. And just scratch it. Because it's hard to mark this stuff properly. Um, like a pen. Whatever I use is just too thick. Maybe something with a very sharp tip, very thin sharp tip. Scriber didn't work. It wasn't thin enough to tip. So something I almost had, I had to grind on a grinder myself to make a very sharp little tip and scratch it. Maybe even a knife, uh, some, the right type of sharp edge on a knife might work. I'm not sure. But just scratch it, scrap, put it right over it like this, mark it, cut it from the outside of the line, right? Um... Pull it out in the drill bit holes. Just buy a set of small drill bits and see see which fits in these holes really well. And just mark it and cut it. Do it on a, what I did was I did it all on drill it on a piece of wood like this. Do it first with a very, very fine drill bit and go larger. Very easy to drill, very easy to cut. And it's very tough stuff. It's not gonna fray or anything. I didn't take, I didn't round off these edges off yet. All you do is use the size, side of this. Just gently, just touch it on it and it'll grind off the little edges off tips. Sharp edges usually aren't good. Kind of can fray or something. I don't, it's a wild guess, but the original ones aren't. Um, to remove it from here, rather than use a screwdriver when you first take them off, I got a small little, or even a large one, but I, I use the small one and small uh, lock wrench and just put it on there and just grab it on the sides just tight enough and just break them loose and then take a screwdriver and remove them. And then when you put them back on, just put them back on with the screwdriver. Removing them, removing them is probably where you're going to wreck the threads on this. So it's just easier. I haven't wrecked any yet. Done quite a few already. Um, Take them out, cut them, put them in. There's two. The original. If you do the kit, you usually cut out the centerpiece here. So you use you cut a single one. And if you want, if you have the original one and you just want to do it for the hell of it, I haven't done one yet like this, so I'm not sure what the performance will be. I'm assuming it'll still be better than what you can get on a most carbon or that kit. 
Now you just uh, see that center line? Just cut it, mark it, and cut it on the on the material. Put it back in same way, and you'll see it still has the for the double pedal system still there. Uh, I'm trying to film this by hand. I'm probably making a mess of it, but um, performance. At first, it wasn't. I, I made a mistake. I cut it a little too large, so and then I recut it, and it perfectly the same and it worked much better and then I put it on been up going up hills I weigh 204 pounds I've been accelerating up hills with it it's been really pretty good I, I've enjoyed it changed the whole character of the bike it's peppy wants to go jump rather than a little sluggish with this kit that's what I found I'm not dogging the kit I, I, it's just what I found I don't know maybe I, if you if you do it just get this get get these cut them out get some extra get an extra set of gaskets so you're not uh, cursing everything out in the world as if you rip one um see so just get an extra set like this get that and it's not hard to do take your time don't strip anything <laughs> and uh that's it all right bye